Welcome to the 2021 ski season. Lindsay and I are back at Snowbird and it's been a really good day. It's actually the end of the day for us. It's around noon, doing half day today. Uh, my knee's doing pretty well. Uh, we'll talk about that more throughout the video. Uh, but getting a little bit of pain, so stopping early just to make sure I don't overdo it. Conditions have been good considering that there's extremely low snowpack. The groomed runs are all right, but everything else is basically closed at this point. Uh, but we've had a really good day, and I uh, hope you come along with us for the rest of the ski season this year. Hopefully we'll have a good one and the resorts won't have to shut down because of the virus. It's 9.05 on a Sunday, and nobody's here. Looking good so far. The new parking system seems like it's okay. So if you're not familiar with it, you have to have a parking reservation now. And free, it's free. It's free, but you have to sign up for it and you can use a part the Parkways app to or you can do it right through their website. But um, just a heads up, because I wasn't sure about this, when you get the parking reservation, it doesn't specifically call out which parking lot you have to park in. So you can choose like Creekside, the Cliff Lodge, or the Snowbird Center. That's up to you. And you know, based on if the parking lot capacities and things like that which is nice that way you don't ha aren't forced into a specific area uh, but so far like it's a sunday and there's nobody here but i think that's because of the conditions as you can probably see below they're very thin it's early december and we should have a lot more snow than this so we'll make the best out of it we're gonna ski for a few hours today and test out our equipment and test out my knee post-surgery first jitters it's always scary Excited? <laughs> All right, first run down kick run. So far, not feeling any pain, which is good. Boy, this is like skiing back in Indiana, except a much bigger mountain. 100% fake snow. So I was saying earlier, I had a second knee surgery. I had to have some uh, cartilage repaired. Kind of grew back a little funky. It was a pretty minor surgery, but still another surgery. But so far, it's feeling good. Much better than last year. Ooh, got his number edge control. Whoa, that's great. Well, it's not too bad. Definitely not normal Utah conditions, but I'll take it. How was it so far? Good. I made a, like, I was going a little too fast and then hurt, hit a little solid spot. And I was like, oh, <laughs> this is, you know, all new. It's slick. It looks like the sun's about to crest over. Yeah. Gets, oh. That'll help a bunch. I mean, Melt some of this ice off. Yeah, it's really, I mean, it's really not bad. Feels so good to be on the mountain again. pretty good. The big thing I'm trying to watch out for this season is swelling of my knee again. If I start to see that, I think I'm probably going to have to cut the season short. I worked really hard to cut the swelling down. I've been taking turmeric every day based on doctor's recommendations and also like glucosamine chondroitin to help with the knee fluid. And it seems to really be helping. My um, Oso CTI knee braces have these little pads that shim for your kneecaps, or for your, like, your knee area. And I actually had to put thicker shims in because they weren't touching my knees anymore. Where previously, I had to have the absolute smallest shims in there because otherwise the braces wouldn't fit. So that's a really good sign that I've been doing some good work on getting the swirling out and keeping it down. 
and I can really tell that all the mountain biking I did this year has helped with my endurance capabilities. I don't even feel anything in my legs yet. I don't feel anything in my lungs. And normally, man, first lap is rough. I end up being like so tired and sweaty by the time you get down. Good chance to go here. Where do you want to go? Yeah, it feels good, but even just the first run, I can feel like my ankles and my quads just, you know, not used to being in boots and being at that like angle and going that fast. And, you know, it's kind of a different movement than any other type of like activity that I'm doing right now. Oh yeah. That's what I was just talking about on the way down about how all the mountain biking that I've done has really helped. Like I'm not even feeling it in my legs. Oh yeah. Yep. <laughs> and normally like my legs are burning by now. Oh, it's so freaking pretty. I forgot what the mountains look like with the sun on them. Solid ice. Wow. I'm sure you can hear that. You should feel it. I got a little scared. <laughs> that was a little slick. Yeah. All right. Let's finish this run up. Well, first successful run, that was really good. Considering the conditions, like Snowbird's done an awesome job of getting snow blown out here to make this possible. If they wouldn't have put in all the work, we wouldn't be here today. So thanks to the Snowbird crew, appreciate it. I'm using the carve system again this year and just using it in three section mode. So it gives you a ski report at the end of the run. And I got one of the Highest three ports we've ever gotten before. Ski IQ of 137. So that was good. But I forgot about all the little silly things that tells you, like, when you get ready to start a run, it says, go get him, tiger. It's kind of funny. Some engineer had fun designing that. I think we're going to limit our time here today to three or four hours just so I don't overdo it on first time and don't end up in some trouble with my knee. Well, got a little more aggressive there and it still felt good. That was a really good sign. I feel my hamstring a little bit. All right, we're gonna give the middle men's downhill a shot. This is actually a black diamond run, it's a little steeper. Pretty short and easy, but definitely quite a bit steeper. Let's see what you got. Probably gonna be icy. Taking my time on this run. Ooh, yeah. Get out of the middle. Very icy. I gotta remember to keep the shins of my legs on the tongues of my boot to keep my body properly centered. Something I was working on last year. I'm gonna continue to work on this year. And car will help me detect when I'm doing it right or wrong. That was slick. Huh? That was slippery. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, we're gonna make our way down Rothman Way over to Dad Valley and see if we can get in some sunlight because it's going to take a little while for Peruvian to get hit by the sun and uh, looking for some less icy conditions and just check out the rest of the mountain. So enjoy a nice little cruise down Rothman. Oh, that's solid. Oh boy. 
Whoa. Uh, yeah, good idea. This is kind of a mess. Just gonna stay high here. Try not to completely destroy my skis. All right, looks like we're gonna do Wilbur Rig. Too bad. Good boomer. Kind of frozen, but not bad. Oh, they changed the whole lines. Good morning. No, that was good. Well, if you're curious about how deep the snow is, here you go. Bring your rock skis. Now, all this is closed still, but the, the groomed runs are good. Like, they got a pretty good base. Only found one spot on Rothman Way that was really a rock field. But yeah, all in all, it's been a pretty good day. I think we're gonna, I know I'm gonna slow things down a bit for the next few runs, just to kind of practice my technique and give my knee a little break and just enjoy the day out here on the mountain. It's good to be up out of the valley inversion and breathing in the fresh mountain air and seeing all the beauty around us. Just being outside. Yeah, you get out of the house. <laughs> <laughs> That's so nice. Oh, the sun's coming up and it feels good. Mm -hmm. I feel like Lexi, I got my eyes closed, yep. my face in the sun. <laughs> Enjoying life. Oh yeah. Oh man, the sun feels good. Definitely a lot more people over here. Oh man, when it gets icy, it gets super icy. Man, I hit a spot back there and my whole skis just flew up sideways. Oh man. <laughs> and I caught myself on my pole, keep from going over. Oh, that's good. Oh yeah, it definitely needs a sharpening. Our edges have not been sharpened in years. And they are not ripping as well as I'd like them to. Alright, I'm gonna go a little slower this time. Bring it a little pain in my knee. But it's only on the outside, and I think it's because I probably have too thick of a shim on the brakes. So. For next time, I'm going to knock the chin down to a medium thickness and see if that takes some of the pain away. Oh, so glad to be back out on the mountain again. And to be doing as well as I'm doing. Alright, go for a battery giant. Time for a battery change already. These batteries suck. Alright. Oh, nice little spine here to play on. Pretty good there. Oh yeah, that felt pretty good. Whew. Definitely feeling it in my knee. That was not good. Alright, fast upwards to get to you.
no line. Nice. All right, this is election off of Gad 2. Look. It's currently the only run open off of Gad 2. It's normally like a fun, kind of flowy race course type run. You get over these little rollers and they kind of lift you off the ground. And it's got a little bit of a curve to it. Super fun run. Especially if you're willing to hit it with some speed. out at the bottom. That was fun. Yeah, so I think for me I'm probably gonna be done by noon. It's like 11 o'clock right now. Okay. So if we want to go up Little Cloud I'm, I'm willing to do that but we need to do it soon. Okay. Well, so go down to Gadzoom and yeah, then go, go Little Cloud. Go. Okay. Pretty much call it. <laughs> All right, off the little pile. This is pretty. What a day. Man, the whole face is still just a giant rock field. That's crazy. It's a nice shot up Regulator Johnson. That's where we're gonna be heading. It's the only run open off of Little Cloud right now. And you can see why. <laughs> with very little snow and lots of rocks. I don't know if I've ever seen it with that many rocks. I know. Get a better view of what the mountain's actually like. There is no snow in the valley. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's so crazy. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty crazy that we ski down this. <laughs> I know. Straight off this edge. <laughs> Yeah, it's weird you can go down that far. A nice view down in the valley. All right, first lap down regulator. This is gonna be a much bigger test of how well my knee's gonna hold up. Except I'm feeling a little sore. So probably only gonna ski for another half an hour or so. Try to not overdo it on the first day. He tried, he tried to keep them. Just Is that him still sliding down there? It might be. Oh my gosh. Must be a little icy.
legs. Oh uh, yeah, I was on a controlled slide. <laughs> it was actually not too bad though. I mean, there was more snow there. I just, I know I was like. Eh. <laughs> yeah, it was good. All right, we're gonna make our way back down to Peruvian. Do one last slap down there and call it a day. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. It really helps out our channel. And if you want to see more of our ski season, be sure to hit that subscribe button and the little bell to be, getting, be notified of any of our upcoming videos. Catch you next time.